Hello, Grand Traverse Young Life. Erin Wanshura here again. Um, this is the second week that I'm sharing some thoughts from Matthew 5, um, from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. This was um, his, his really big sermon um, that was to his disciples and then other, li other people listening as well. Um, but these were some of the most profound things that Jesus said for the way that his kingdom works, that if we're going to follow him and live in his way and his rule, this is what it's going to look like. Um, and so I was talking to a friend today and we were saying how much that purpose has changed for a lot of people in different jobs. Um, right now they're working from home or maybe not working or they're, they're a stay at home parent and um, life just looks a lot different now. They feel like their purpose has changed or they've lost their purpose in this time of these new COVID-19 realities. And um, that, that re really hit me when I was looking at this next passage um, of Matthew 5 verses 13 through 16, where God, Jesus tells us that we are the salt and we are the light. Um, he says it pretty boldly to his followers. He doesn't say, I want you to be the salt and I want you to be the light or one day I hope you are. He says, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. That um, in a time where we're uncertain about what our purpose is when we wake up and our everyday realities might look different, um, our purpose in Jesus' eyes has never changed that Aaron, you are the salt of the earth and you are the light of the world. Um, there's no question about that. And so I'm gonna share with you um, these few passages, um, starting chapter five, verses 13 through 16, starts like this. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has, salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. As I was reading this, I was thinking, um, if salt lost its purpose, if it lost its taste, if it wasn't going to do what it was intended to do, what it was made for, what it was good for, then what would be the point of it? And thinking of the purpose of salt for taste, to bring flavor out in things, to preserve, and to heal. That as a follower of Jesus, if I'm not bringing flavor and preserving and healing things around me, am I doing what I'm intended to do? Jesus says, you are the salt of the earth. Now be it. Do it. The second part, this is verse 14. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Thinking of a light like this, that would be raised up and it would be able to illuminate everything in the room for all of those who are witnessing it. I think in our world, there's lots of flashy lights, lots of glitter and glimmer um, that, get our that gets our attention all the time. But imagine in a time like this, where things are a little bit more quiet, a little bit more still, a little bit more dark, and you're in a room and you see a true flame and it catches everyone's attention, grabs everyone's eye, and draws everyone in to see where it's coming from and what it is. And I think that's our opportunity in a time like this um, with the world feeling more hopeless than before um, is that when light is revealed, people are going to notice. They're going to see the flickering flame in a dark room. And it's going to draw everyone's attention. 
So in the same way, let your light shine before others. So they may see your good works and not glorify you, not glorify Aaron, but give glory to your father who is in heaven, who is their father too, in hopes that they would come to know that. So alone, I am pretty pitiful salt, not very flavoring, not very, very preserving, not very healing, in a very, very, very dim light um, that may not help very much at all. Um, but the good news is, is that we have a savior in Jesus Christ, who is the light of the world, that he was there the day the world was created and light and darkness was separated. And it says that the darkness could not overcome his light. And he's our only hope in preserving and healing this world. So Christ in me um, can bring light to the world. Christ in me can bring salt to the earth. And I want to encourage you that with you that I wanted to encourage you with that today. Um, that you are the salt and you are the light. Um, and we should act like that. So hope you're doing well. Hope that brought encouragement to you today. Talk to you soon.